Hi. I'm Dave from BoyInTheBand.com. Feels freaking ages since we've talked like this. How are you? Oh, really? That sucks. Oh, oh me? I'm, I'm great. Thanks for asking. Today I've got a really obscure musical collaboration for you guys, which involves a hell of a lot of this. You may remember the collaboration I did with my home slices Brady and Phil from the YouTube channel Numberphile not too long ago. Well, Brady has a crap ton of other channels, including one called Periodic Videos, in which the focus is on chemistry in the periodic table of elements. And since maths and metal work together so well, it got me thinking, what kind of style could possibly go well with sounds like this, and this, and this? And then it hit me, Explosion Core! And then I realised Explosion Core wasn't the genre. No, to self-invent Explosion Core. So I went with the next best thing, which was dubstep. So I organised a day, packed my Adam into the boot. You mean you don't know where we're going? Come on. Get in the car. Get in the, get in the car began driving You can't run forever, Brady! and, after some important stops along the way, arrived at Nottingham University, where I met up with my home slice Brady and basically began asking all the horrendously qualified scientists to make really loud noises. Science. And yeah, I'm not kidding when I say qualified. Today I'm here with uh, Professor Dr. Martin Polyakov, CBE, FRS, BA, MA, PhD, DSC, SCD, um, FRSC. CCAM, FI Chem E, C Eng. How are you today, Martin? Fine. Since he knew his stuff, I figured I should get his advice on how to create intense sounds through chemistry. What do you think is the noisiest experiment that you can think of? The noisiest? Yes. Um, it will be an explosion. I didn't really think too hard about that one, did I? Martin did go into more detail, however. There are two sorts of explosions. There's one that's called detonation, which goes bang very rapidly say phosphorus and potassium chlorate which makes your whole body sort of shake when it goes off but then they're the ones which are used for things like propellants for shells and things like that which are more sort of pushing explosions they're called deflagrating explosions hold it there deflagrating that's a freaking awesome word kind of makes me want to do this to it hmm i'd say about an eight what do you think martin seven and a half Oh, not far off then. Martin then went on to explain what that awesome word meant. They also make a bang, but it's a sort of more prolonged and not quite such a sharp bang. So, with the detonations as the percussion and the deflagrations as the uh, melodic part, we had a good idea of what we needed to get. So we said goodbye to Martin and proceeded to bother the scientists until they made explosions and voila! Here's what we came up with. Well, not this floating video annotation. Well, kind of, I guess, but more the thing that it links to. I've also put a link in the description in case you have a crippling fear of clicking video annotations in case they jump out and scare you. So hit that link and take a look at the track. Every single sound in there was made in the lab, and I only used a little bit of EQ and compression on there. No pitch changing or anything. And while you're over there, you should totally subscribe to Periodic Videos. They have some great videos about chemistry, and every other word they use could totally be used as a death metal lyric. The stuff is freaking gold. And just because I think the samples were so awesome, I've uploaded a sample pack for you guys to make your own sciencey remixes with. Link below. The best one is that rubber bung sound. It sounds exactly like an 808 kick, which I couldn't believe. You should have seen my face when I heard it for the first time. It was kind of like this, but less attractive. And on that note, I think a good way to wrap up would be to end on these nice words from Dr. Martin Polyakov. I'd be interested to see what you can produce from the chemistry. I would also be interested to see what people think of your production and um, I wish you great success. Thank you. And I hope I hope that it will give people a new view of chemistry. Cheers for watching and have a nice day. Science. Hey look Americans, I'm on the correct side of the car. Martin, 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 Martin,